Yo, what is up guys? Today we're gonna be working on our 300 ZX. And we're gonna go from this terrible looking balance tube here to this. to the garage we're here today we're kind of jumping back in on the 300 zx project uh, we did a video a little bit ago where we kind of touched on some intake manifold so we've got our intake manifold over here and we're going to get it cleaned up i need to make underneath my hood of the 300 zx look a lot better so we're going to start with the piece that takes up like the most real estate under the hood it's 300 zx intake manifold need to get it cleaned up we've got it disassembled here here's a look at our throttle bodies uh one throttle body position sensor and then this thing actually ran through right here this controls both of our throttle bodies for one and the cable just goes right in the middle there and it's attached by these two rods and it goes over to our other throttle body right here. And if you remember last time we sawzawed water inlet ports on our throttle bodies. Got them out of the way just to clean some stuff up. So that was step one, cleaning up our intake manifolds. Now that we have these throttle bodies off, we could take it one step further and uh, zip these off right here, clean it up even tighter. Who knows if we'll get that far or not. And then also we're going to go ahead and powder coat our balance tube. This long piece of machinery that sits on top. So we need to clean this up. Here's a look at the hardware that the throttle body bolts use to bolt up to our intake manifold. It's a six millimeter Allen. Be very careful with those. You wanna make sure you get in there tight before you start reaming so you don't round out the center, then you'd be in real big trouble. Probably like the bane of 300ZX owner's existence is this big honking intake manifold. So we're gonna make it look as best as possible. All right guys, one of the first things we're gonna do is just get this thing washed up. It's got it pretty much stripped down. I'm actually gonna take this twin turbo plate off as well. We're gonna get this thing powder coated. So and I don't want to powder coat over this plate. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this thing off. Boom, there you go. There's your aluminum uh, twin turbo sticker off the manifold. Look how pretty that is underneath there. We have to do a very delicate uh, washing procedure. Follow closely. Here we've got our intake manifold looking so much better. Look at that thing. Cleaned up, not perfect. We're not done with it yet, but we're gonna switch over to this balance tube right here. And I've got our fancy little blasting cabinet all set up. We're actually gonna media blast this and strip it all down and we're gonna powder coat this bad boy. All right guys, here's a little sneak peek. We're like halfway through this thing. Takes a minute, it takes a minute, but there you go, we blasted this side. And I'll flip it around and we'll do this side. All right dude, we got our, uh, we're ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna put this in the oven and let it bake a little bit before we start to do anything for powder coating and impurities will come to the surface. I'll bake anything else off. We're ready to go. 
Ooh, it's warm in there. All right, we'll let it sit in there for a while. Good. Have fun, little buddy. All right, guys, we've got our balance tube set up here. Powder down on this. Going for a wrinkled black, I think. How'd do bust out the... Had to bust out the gun on this guy here. It is, uh, these are a pain to clean, just so you know. All right guys, here's a look at uh, what we're gonna spray this out with. We got some wrinkled black in here. We're just gonna zip, zip, zip. Perfect. out the bottom side. I'm gonna have to do a two spray flipper deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the oven now. We'll let it flow out and we'll flip it over and spray the other side. I think we're coming back for another round there. All right, we got it in. That was a I'm out of control, dude. We gotta pull these off. Forgiving on this shit here. So it's hot. Ah, there we go. We're coming back for a second spray, so. All right, guys, uh, we sprayed the bottom side. Oh, gonna uh, flip it in a few minutes and spray the top side, and we'll be a lot more gentle with that side. Um, no one's gonna see the bottom, so I'm not too worried about if we mess it up a little bit. This is my third time, third item spray, and I sprayed uh, one of our two shave valve covers, actually both of them, wrinkled black, it looks pretty sick. And then we sprayed oh, this Honda, and we did a two-tone on it, came out pretty good. So now we're doing our, now we're doing our balance tube. I'm going to try and do this manifold. We won't do it in this video, because it takes a lot more prep but I'm going to try and do this manifold wrinkle black as well. That's why we took off the sticker. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty done, but we need to put little screw caps in and block off plates here and uh, just get it all ready. Block off plates, just big. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, we're looking good. Our powder has started to flow. You can see it uh, looks like a liquid form there. It's already starting to even cure all the way. I'm gonna pull it out and flip it over and do the other side. All right, that's what our top side looks like. We gotta make this pretty. So I'm gonna spray it down. Let that paint flow out. See how it looks really dry right now. Here in about just a few minutes, it's gonna look really wet. Oh yeah, look at it. It looks juicy. All right, it's flowed out. Now we're gonna drop the temperature a little bit. Let's put that timer. Drop the 400. It'll be like 20 minutes, so it'll be done. And then we'll just let it, uh, let it go from there. It'll be a while. Give you a sec, go get something to drink. All right, 
burgers. We gotta look at our balance tube here. It's all done. Cooled off. Oh yeah. Yeah, that is uh much better. Let's take a look here. Yeah, I like the wrinkle black because it's not too much. It's not in your face. Really clean. Yeah, there you go. That's what our new one looks like. That is what the terrible one on my car looks like. So I'm actually pretty excited to put this new one on. All right, guys, so we got our balance tube all done, powder coated and ready. So we might as well just go ahead and put it on the car. So let's take ours off this 300ZX, put the new one on. Not only does the powder coating look really nice, it's super durable. So obviously this one's been banged up a bunch, paint's chipped off. Hopefully we won't have any of those issues with this powder coating. It should last for a long time and be super durable and resist any chips and scrapes. We need a 12 millimeter to pull our nuts and bolts off of here on both sides. Connect our, disconnect our vacuum line here and disconnect our vacuum line in the back. Here's our old balance tube off. Do a side by side, but I think we already know. And there's a new guy. I'm actually excited about this. Cause look how bad that looks. I mean, come on. And then the paint, you repaint it. It's just gonna get chipped up by the time you put it back on. So it should last a little bit longer. Let's get this thrown into place. See what it looks like on the engine. Perfect. All right guys, let's take a look here. We've got our balance tube all installed. Uh, much better. Doesn't catch your eye, that's all chipped up. Of course our, our intake manifold is still just an absolute disaster and needs cleaned up. That'll be the next thing we focus on. It's a nice little easy project. I mean, obviously if you can't powder coat it, we could have thrown some paint on there, rattle can paint, easy. I actually did this the other day too. If you watch the videos, you know, but if not, boom. We got our battery tie down powder coated wrinkle black as well. And uh, every Z needs a battery tie down, but every Z does not have a battery tie down from all the ones we look at. Mission accomplished. Thanks for joining me on this project, guys. Uh, stick around because we got other stuff to do on this car, on all the cars, shopping for Zs, working on Zs, working on 240s, SC400. All the things. Thanks, thanks so much, guys. Putting questions in the comments down below. Um, what are some other parts that maybe we should powder coat and make beautiful? Let's see. Up to you guys. Let me know down in the comments. See you then. Peace. Perfect. Perfect.